Hello, and welcome to this Sim 7 product update for the Autumn 2022 release. In this session, we'll be looking at the new area for interventions that we've introduced to record intervention attendance. Firstly, if we were to navigate to Focus, Interventions, and Run Intervention, when opening up Run Interventions, one of the first things you may now notice is that there is a new filter option within the filter parameters for academic year. By introducing this, when we now hit search, it only brings up the records for the current academic year that you are a facilitator for. If we now open the Collaborate and Cooperate Term 1 intervention, you will now notice, as of the autumn release, that there is a new panel 3 for intervention attendance. When we navigate to this panel, it is a replication of the list of pupils that are on the intervention. On the right hand side, if we click Add Session, by default it will pick up today's date and we can add a new intervention session for the date that we provide. This can be done retrospectively if required as well. On selecting save, you'll now notice that there is a dated column added with the date that you've provided of which we can now go in and provide a yes for attended or a no for not attended for the session. You will notice at the bottom of the column there is an auto calculating total attendees that gives the facilitator a quick and clear understanding of how many of the pupils have attended that session. Saving that records that attendance. If we now navigate up to panel 2, you will now notice that the sessions attended has been incremented automatically where a student has been recorded as having attended a session. You will also notice that the previous function of add one session has been removed on the right hand side as this is now controlled directly by panel 3 in the attendance. If a student has turned up late to an intervention, you can always update the attendance in panel 3 as required. You can also add a session note within panel 2 to indicate why they may have been late for the intervention. Saving these details will then automatically update the sessions attended in panel 2. As mentioned, if you wanted to retrospectively go in and add any intervention attendance, you can do so by going back to Add Session in Panel 3 and changing the date back. This will, however, need to fall within the date set on the Plan Intervention screen. You will notice, for ease of access, the most recent intervention session is the first in the list. If you had an intervention set up pre the autumn release, you may be wondering what happened with the attendance that was recorded via the sessions added in panel 2. Let's open up this Maths Improvement Autumn Term intervention to have a look. Now we've opened this intervention, you will see under panel 2 there's two columns. The first column of which is labelled Sessions Added. These are those that existed prior to the autumn upgrade. Sessions attended, however, are those derived directly from Panel 3 attendance. If we were to then open up Panel 3 and record some attendance in here, once saved, if we then navigate back to Panel 2, we can then see the sessions attended has been incremented by 1 as derived by Panel 3. If you choose to retrospectively add in the intervention attendance to Panel 3, in Panel 2 you can update the sessions added column as this is perfectly editable by users. If the details are removed from sessions added once the attendance is recorded in panel 3, once saving, that column will then disappear. If we navigate to Reports, Design Report, and create a new report, if we select the Student Focus area and select Next, if we pick up Name and Reg for example, and then go down to the Intervention area and pick up the Intervention sub-report, we can now see that we can pull in the intervention name alongside the number of sessions attended. This number of sessions attended column will be a calculation of those previously added and the new panel 3 sessions attended. As such, giving it a total number of sessions participated for the report. If we were to put a filter for say year 7 and then preview the report, we can then see the total number of sessions attended for each pupil for the interventions that they are a part of. If you have any further ideas, please do let us know on the Sims Ideas portal or through the Satisfaction Survey. I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.